what's going on guys if i've turned a four here um making a pretty big video here um got a lot of new uh, cool stuff in that i hope you guys will like and, uh, you gotta start but first my cat is getting into all this but as you can see you got tons of um tons of bats and stuff in so stick around and i'll show that but want to start off um went to a Milwaukee bucks game this past weekend versus the knicks um dad got four free tickets so um I went with a guy that you might know, uh, Squeepa21, Phil, and uh, the Bucks kicked the Knicks' ass, so that was pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd uh, talk about the know. Thanks again for uh, coming with me, Phil. It was an enjoyable time, and hopefully we can do it again sometime. And let's start with let's start with the TTMs I've gotten. These are all the TTMs aside from the one I showed in the video um, before, but here are all my TTMs I've gotten. Um, Mark Burley, pretty nice. Uh, Jeff Manship, this is pretty, this was pretty, uh, quick. He get, he got this back in like a week. Uh, nice for the Packers PC right here, Sterling Sharp. Very cool. Got that via, um, I think NFL Studio, so that was pretty cool. This guy never licks any of the envelopes shut. Um, I've heard of stories of his cards falling out, but luckily he tucked mine under well enough that it didn't. Uh, Sean Figgins. I mean, I don't, I don't know if he thinks I put like anthrax on it or something, but not to fear, Sean. I didn't do anything like that. Um, this is one of the nicest ones I've gotten back, like looking wise. Um, very sweet, no smears or anything. John Rouch. Very cool. Nexus is pretty cool as well. Uh, Dirk Nowitzki, one of the one of the best. Um, is he a center? Forward. He's he's one of the best forwards in the NBA. Juan Pierre, one of the fastest guys in the majors. Dude's a beast. Um, here's Eric Young Jr. He personalized it to Alec. I don't know if you can see that or not. Kind of, but he signed in black, so. Uh, Mark, I don't even know how to say his name. Rezepsinski. Oh, this is pretty cool. Um, I actually got two of these guys, Nick Franklin and Steve Barron, when they came through with my my minor league team. And I sent it to Dustin Ackley, and he signed it. He wrote two Alec on it, but um, still very, very cool. Oh, my cat is being away. Two more to go. Um, Charlie Trippy, very nice autograph right there. Got that back relatively quick as well. And last but not least, um, 2005 NFC Championship game beast Chad Lewis caught two touchdowns to get him to the Super Bowl, I think. So pretty cool. Um, got a short stack of cards, and then I'll get to the game East stuff. Um, well, I was in a um, custom case break a long time ago with uh, RBI Crew 7, and I uh, had this redemption that um, he finally uh, he finally um, sent me the cards on, so that was pretty cool. Uh, thanks, Ryan, if you're watching this. Um, sent me two cards for my PC. Um, Avery, three color, three color, two color, patch ball patch, and then a three color, one color um, SP Rookie Threads out of 25. So, thanks again, Ryan. I appreciate you guys sending that out for me. And I purchased some cards on eBay from a seller for really, really cheap. The main reason why I got it is because of this card. Um, it's a Matt Bush 2004 Elite Extra Edition. Um, uh, whatever these are called, die cuts out of 25. He's actually coming back with the um, with the Rays after his busted career. He was number one overall. He got into uh, a bunch of... Um, alcohol and uh, problems with the law and um, he was bouncing around from a couple minor league teams but he's back now pitching really well I and mean, he was drafted as a shortstop but he's a pitcher now so it's kind of cool hopefully he makes it this would be worth big bucks I, I got this for like 12 bucks so um, I think it's a pretty worthwhile investment because those go for a lot of good players uh, I picked these up for like a dollar fifty or something free shipping as well or was, I don't even know if it was that much but um, Luke Rashad Mbamute, 
he's a prince in Africa. That's pretty cool um, for the hometown Bucks. And hometown guy Kyle Weaver went to my um, or high school. It's about five minutes from me in Beloit. So pretty sweet. One of the only hometown guys that ever made it to the NBA for um, my region. So thought I'd pick that up for the PC. And um, he actually forgot to send me one of my cards, so I PM'd him, and he sent me, um, he sent it out really quick, and I got a free autograph out of it, so that, that was pretty cool. Um, wish they do that all the time, <laughs> get free cards out of it, but it was this Jack Cost. It wasn't anything big, but he forgot to throw it in there. Got it for like a buck fifty, and he threw in this for free. Chris Coughlin, um autograph. Uh, I think he was AL Rookie of the Year, or NL Rookie of the Year, a couple years back, so pretty cool. Okay, guys, now on to the memorabilia okay I made a made a deal with my um, buddy again who I get all my prospect stuff from gotta go through this pretty fast um, oh getting ready for fantasy baseball got all the stuff ready first of all um, I actually had this for a long time and I finally I traded it to him uh, but I got it back it's a Juan Diaz prospect in the Mariners organization expat with the, Domen with the Dominican flag it's pretty cool He's not a big name prospect, but um, he's he's pretty decent. He's not anything big though. Uh, next, this is a pretty cool bat. It's like a brownish color, old hickory. Um, Quincy Lattimore, prospect for the Pirates, power hitting. As you can see by the bat, 34 and a half inches. That's pretty big for a minor leaguer. Um, cracked just a little bit right there, not nothing big. So pretty cool. Next, this guy was bouncing around. He was um he was supposed to be good, but he never really amounted to anything. Uh, Brandon Jones signed right there really nicely. A lot of ball marks and stuff. It's a Marucci, and again, it's cracked very lightly on the on the handle. Stamp mark on it. You can't really see that, but it was made in 2010. BJ. <laughs> um. This is this is a guy that might break the camp with the Reds. He's supposed to be pretty good one day. Uh, Devin Mazzarocco signed huge. There's some uh, there's some pretty big um, like C marks on there. I don't know if you can see that right there. I mean he he hits the ball pretty hard. Um, he's supposed to he's a catcher for them. Um, with I think all they have is Ramon Hernandez, so he should he should be good. This is from this year's spring training. He just got this. Um, that's his number, 65. It's a BWP, by the way. On the other side as well. So, cracked. This is a moderate crack. I mean, it's holding together, but... Um, cracked it pretty bad, but... uh, Yeah, that's that was the main reason, one of the main reasons why I got this, because um, this this whole deal, because um, it's supposed to be pretty good in a couple of years with Ramon here. I think Ramon Hernandez is like 40 now or something, but, um, and the last bet, but, um, by far not, not the least, picked this up in a different deal, um, this is a photo matched bat I got on eBay, and, um, I'm not, I, I don't have the uh, photo printed off or anything, so, uh, you guys just have to take, take my word for it, but, um, Ryan Zimmerman, Nationals got some pretty cool, Marks, as you can see, that's the Major League ball where it says Rawlings. But the part that's that's photo matched in the picture, he's holding it like this, and you can see the very edge of the ball mark, and then this little spot of pine tar right there. So it's pretty cool, and this um this even coating of pine tar also. This gave it away as well. The um the little bit of light brown on the tip of this, but yeah, I thought it was a pretty good deal for numbers in the back of it, eleven. I actually repaired this. It was um, it was cracked, and these things were like hanging out really bad. It was like jagged, so I just um glued it a little, little bit. But eleven. What was, was kind of cool about this is you can see um, that's forty four right there that was crossed out. So um, forty four was, was Adam Dunn in, in two thousand ten when he was with them. So um, I'm guessing that because they like to exchange bats with the Nationals. I'm guessing Don had this bat, and then Ryan, um, Ryan needed it back or something. He might have said like, "Hey, Adam, I'm running short on bats. Do you have an extra one of mine or something like that?" So, but Ryan did use this because um, if it was Don, there'd be it'd be pounded over on this side from from left-handers, and 
Um, all the marks are on this side, and there's a picture of him using it, so pretty cool. And then the, um, how many ounces and how many inches it is. Okay, on to the, a few more things. This is pretty cool. This is a um, game used chest protector from Royals um, Catching Prospect Salvador Perez. I think he's only 19 or 20 or something, but signed it right there, wrote 2010. There's actually a photo on Flickr um, that I found. I, I photo matched it to it. It's from these little white spots right here. You can see those on, on, on the picture, and they, uh, they uh, correlate e like exactly to what um, is on this. But Oh, and this is just something that I put on for um, basically keeping track of what items I have. A lot of dirt and everything, so pretty cool item, I think. I mean, people are like, what do you do with a freaking chest protector but I mean if he makes it it'd be good it'd be kind of cool thing to have but got it for a really decent price so I thought I picked it up next is um this is an Anthony Hewitt game he's had I don't know if you guys know who he is but he's a prospect with the Phillies I believe should be pretty decent someday um Tim Melville signed ball he just tossed us in because he's a good guy um last two items have um uh who's this uh Domingo Santana gave these gloves from 2010 he signed them right there and here's the backs of them pretty cool they're not ripped or anything and then last but not least um I didn't get these in this deal but I don't think I ever showed these these are pretty cool um twins center fielder of the future Ben Revere I don't know if you guys know about him or not but I actually bat boyed for him for a long time in uh, 08. He was a really nice guy. Got to know him, so I'm um, kind of cool with him. But these are um, these are batting gloves that I got from my my uh, connection when he was in um, AAA. Or uh, actually AA because it's the Rock Cats. But here's a picture of him wearing them. And he actually got hit in the hand by a pitch. This is right after it happened. It was a picture uh, taken. He got hit in the hand in the ball. Um, flew away but what's what's neat about these is that um, if you look right here there's actually blood from where he got hit and cut open his finger a little bit right there and then it's brown I mean that's kinda gross but cool at the same time what up so I mean it kinda looks like poop or something but yeah it's kind of um kinda neat I mean, it's kinda gross but kinda neat at the same time a little bit right there too. These are extremely nice batting gloves though. Both of them are signed to me. These are really heavy duty. This is all raised padding. There's padding on each of these things for his hand. So these are some um, some heavy duty gloves. But yeah, that's um that's about it. Here's my other bin of stuff. I mean I haven't gotten around to show most of this, but tons of hats and stuff. I actually got these two. Um, these these are Trevor May shoes, um, fielding shoes, whatever they're called, turf shoes. I got these in the same deal with all this stuff, but just, um, I didn't want to dig them out. have a lot of organizing to do, as you guys see. Got a whole list right here, but yeah, this video's getting kind of long, so, um, I will cut it off right there. Hope you guys liked the stuff, and, um, uh, I should have some more stuff coming in in a couple of, well, actually probably a week. I just ordered a couple more things that I think you guys are going to like, so, um, yeah, that's it for now, and thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.